Hey, what are you, uh, what are you doing today, Sue? Well, we are now at Los Algodones, Algodones, Mexico, on the border. We're right on the border. And uh, we're going over because I have an appointment for a dental consultation. So uh, right now I'm wearing an Invisalign trying to straighten my bite out, but I had a tooth pulled and now I'm uh, going to see if I can get an implant. We heard of Dr. Rubio from a lot of RVers and highly recommend it. So I've got an appointment for a consultation with him. So we were told we can cross the border and go straight to the Purple Pharmacy. And then uh, from the Purple Pharmacy, we should have them call Rubio's office. They'll come and pick us up. Huh. But his office, we looked on the map, is only like mm, six blocks, not that far. So we're gonna cross the border and assess it and see if we're comfortable. So we might just walk it. So we're gonna try that maybe. Uh, I, I want to talk about these implants. I was under a different perception when we were talking about this. What, <laughs> what are they for again? My tooth. Damn it! Forget the other implants. Yeah. Come on, let's go. All right. What are you doing, Sue? Filling up my form. I'm in Mexico right now. I'm going to have some dental consultation for an implant. And I'm filling out my form. Oh. Excellent. Excellent. In here. Okay. So this is where we walked. We came. From the border all the way in here. And that's the dental area. Got our little friend walking with us. I think he's going to show us the way out of here. Yeah. <laughs> this is our special escort out of Mexico. Uh, I guess he thinks we're okay now. So here we are. We're heading back to the border on our way out of Mexico. And we hear if we get here like later, like four in the afternoon, this place is crowded. You might wait an hour, two hours just to cross the border. Wow. But the nice thing is they have this uh, canopy. At least you're not standing in the sun cooking. Yeah, and we probably should turn the camera off. Hey! Sue, wait up for Mark. Oh my God, huh. I thought I'd he, lost you. Oh my God, I was so scared when we were in the foreign country. We're, we're good. We're not really good travelers. Like we're, we're excellent travelers. You want to hear my take? We're not like Dave and, uh, and Laura, <laughs> but uh, you know, what so are you going to do about that? we went that? to Dr. Rubio's office and we actually walked it. Huh. it. Seemed fine. Mark is nervous and I'm like, it's not far. So we walked it. So then um, we went in, very professional building. Where are you going? I'm, I'm just uh, putting you in different frames. You can just talk and look at the camera. You can see our little mountains back yeah. there. So really professional, um, everybody spoke English. Um, met Dr. Rubio, he actually did the consult, had a, an x-ray done. Um, and I'm going to suggest I finish my Invisalign first, get my teeth in the right position, then come back and we'll do an implant. And uh, so, you know, they did the x-ray. It looks like I have plenty of bone, but he wants to do a CT scan when I come back another time. So uh, we're walking out and asked uh, how much I owed and nothing. Consultation free, x-ray free. So um, they gave me an estimate of what it would take for the implant, CT scan, and the 
crown and it's like 2000 2000 2100 something like that so it's you're like, kidding it it was foc foc yeah that's free of charge free of charge what was but it today uh, was free of charge what was it uh nmr no money required unbelievable all right that they, was my take it was really good and then we walked back we decided not to walk around and try food or anything not this time but when we come back we're going to explore a little bit more all right we'll get mark's take on it now oh yeah here we go so you know sue that you're going to have to come back now in about three or four months when you're done with your invisalign and uh probably the most economical way is if we stay at this casino parking lot here it's very lush the kind that uh, <laughs> Brian Spilker to. likes you know a uh, little windy here hopefully you can still hear me but uh, this casino here allows you for $50 for the week to dry camp in this lot so this is about 20 minutes from Yuma where we are right now and we would maybe consider staying here especially if we get more comfortable fooling around in Los Alagones all right so what do you think honey nice and homey for you We can do this. We are becoming boondockers. Yeah. We can do it. All right. Shoot for 50 a, a week. All right. See ya. So let me give you my take on what I was expecting during the day as compared to what Sue told you. In the morning, I got up and I instantly looked at the pants that I was going to wear and I made sure they had a lot of deep pockets, ones that I could snap shut or lock. And I emptied all of the miscellaneous things out of the pockets that I didn't need so that when I would go through the border, I didn't have to take everything out. The only items I needed were my credit card and the money in my wallet. So, of course, I left my wallet at home and took that stuff out. And all the cash, cards, passports, everything went in my left hand pocket, shoved all the way down. I, of course, had a shirt on that had no logos, anything identifying that they could say, Hey, Mr. Nike Man, or Hey, Mr. Tucson Man. So, I was thinking about the hecklers. I, of course, didn't have a $1,000 Nikon camera hanging from my neck. I had very comfortable shoes on, so I could move and maneuver around in case I had to get out of the way. Uh, we had taken all the valuables out of our Honda. There were no bikes, no air compressors, no extension ladders. My phone was switched off, and we didn't switch the phone on or take any pictures on the way there. We literally just beelined it all the way there but the reality of the whole trip was when we were walking in we had some ladies in front of us they were old grannies and they were laughing and talking and they had jewelry on and they had bags and they had purses and then in the back of them was this lady who had this walker and she's shoveling along like she's done it a thousand times. And here I am, 66 years old, in the prime of my life. I got this wonderful woman, Suzette, who's as strong as two of me. 
And I thought, what am I afraid of? So I was completely off base.